Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome, we're here today to talk a little bit about how to use Spring Boot to connect to an automatically generated REST API for your Apache Cassandra database. This database is hosted on Datastax Astro, our managed cloud that is built on Kubernetes, Prometheus, Envoy, and other cutting edge database technologies. So it's pretty straightforward and only takes a couple minutes uh, the fastest way to get going is to sign in with Google. Great. So, very simple. You just select a free plan. Uh, let's deploy on Google Cloud. And you pick a region that's proximate to you and say configure database. Now, let's use, we just need to feed it four fields. We give it a database name. We'll give it a key space name called spring rest key space nothing fancy, and we'll give it a username and password for the database. Nothing that would pass an IT security check, but uh, uh, just for the purposes of demonstration. And click Create Database. Now this will just take a couple minutes to spool up. It's pretty fast. Awesome, we've got our database active. We can connect to it via a number of different ways. We can go directly to the CQL console and type in native CQL, which is fine, but part of the point of this is that we wanna be able to use a native REST API that we're already familiar with and not have to learn CQL. We'll come back to this later. So if you come to the connect tab here, you can get environment variables that, set, uh, that get set and show you how to connect to the database and Astra uh, via uh, a number of different APIs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this database uh, ID, a dynamically generated database ID, which will come in handy later uh, in the tutorial. So um, basically, I'm just following along these instructions here in the GitHub repo. Uh, and at this point, I've done all this stuff. Uh, and all I'm doing you know, is now, uh, after cloning the GitHub repository, now I'm just opening this in Gitpod, uh, which is a browser-based IDE. Uh, and over here in this window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a shell script uh, that sets up um, sets up our database uh, using the Astra uh, DevOps API. Uh, and that's just called uh, GitHub GitPod setup.sh. Uh, and that will ask you for a few different pieces of information. If it's the first time you've connected, it'll ask you for your um, database name. And this is the stuff you just typed in earlier to the console. Um, oh, whoops, uh, just a second. This is actually asking for the database username. Hold on. So that's that. Yep. Now we're giving it the key space name of Spring Rest key space. And let's get that dynamically generated database ID that we were talking about a second ago. It comes in handy right here. Now, on uh, the free tier, we always deploy on Google Cloud. So, and in this case, we remember we chose US East 1. So it gets an auth token, uses the DevOps API that's already available on Astra, uh, and creates some tables for us. Great. So uh, all that remains is we can compile and run the Spring Boot application. So let's call our Gradle wrapper and call the task boot run. Oh, okay, there we go. Fantastic. So that compiles and what happens is it outputs some JSON to the Spring Boot console, which I've highlighted here. Let's see if I can make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, and it spits out some Game of Thrones uh, actor names, or character names, excuse me. So what we'll do is uh, let's do a little quick code review and look at the AstroDB REST Spring Boot application. Um, basically, the interesting part here is that it's using the uh, REST template.exchange method, which is a slightly lower level method than the normal annotated spring methods. And it'll, the reason why is it allows you to set some custom security headers with the connection information. Uh, and then it calls a get method here uh, and passes in this HTTP entity that you've populated uh, with the custom headers, and then uh, specifies the um, Java bean class that the results will get mapped to, and then logs it out 
to the console. Uh, so uh, with that, let's wrap up the demo. Like any REST API, it's pretty easy to use Spring Boot's REST template to work with an Apache Cassandra database on Datastax Astra. Other automatically generated API endpoints for GraphQL, uh, JSON document API, and more will be covered in future videos. So we really look forward to your feedback, and I just want to say a quick thanks for your time. Take care, and hope to see you in a future demo soon.